back. I'm back, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Glorious Primer, you guys, right here, and I'm just gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna put it all over my face. Now, I'm not gonna put it on my nose because what I did, I do have, <clears throat> I do have bigger pores on my nose. Um, so I, what I do, and a lot of us girls do, or the, us girls that do unique, is we will take our eye primer, you guys, and um, we'll put it wherever we have like those bigger pores in minus my face or my nose. Enjoying the rain. Yes, the, the rain. I Okay, I took a picture today in a high messy bun with a cute headband. I can do that. I can do that. Not, not right this second because I just uh, straightened it. Like I, I just washed it. So I kind of have to like like the straight for one day and then like tomorrow. <laughs> Like, the, oh, that would be super cute. I used to have one of those, um, but I lost it. I lost it. Okay, you guys, Glorious Primer. Going in with the Glorious Primer, and I'm putting it everywhere besides my nose because I put the eye primer on my nose because that's going to help um, with the big pores, okay? Now, also, you guys, in the summer heat, the um, the Moodstruck Eye Primer is, is good for your face um, like I'm doing the Glorious Primer. But since I'm not going outside or anything, I'm just doing the Glorious Primer. The Glorious Primer makes your face feel like super velvety and soft, okay? Um, to where like the eye primer kind of makes your face feel a little tacky. Kind of like for when you, because you know, I use it uh, um, on my eyeshadow, of course. So look how good that stays. So it's kind of tacky, um, but not like a weird tacky to make your face feel like, you know, you know what I mean? Like it feels feels fine, but it makes your makeup stay great, especially in the heat, okay? You guys, once you're here, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from if you're new, and give me a share, okay? Let's see how many girls we can get on. Um, the more girls that come on, the be more questions that we have, okay? And I just think it's better. Where all is it raining at, y'all? It's raining here where I live, um, but it's kind of been raining all day. And I'm just gonna let that primer set just a second. And while I let that set, y'all, let me go ahead and show you. Let me go ahead and show you my lippies, okay? Look at this. This is a lucrative lip gloss, okay? Look how gorgeous this is. Okay, and it's got a little mirror on the side. Let me take, the, you gotta take the little film off, okay? But look, it's sprinkling on and off. Are you working, Faith? Or are you off today? Or are you at home already? Or you already worked? Look, decorative lip gloss. We have so many different colors. And look at that little Trish is waving at me. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my God, it just sounds like a real redneck, y'all. But it's got that little mirror on the side. All the decorative lip glosses have that little mirror on the side. So here's the one. I'll show you what that looks like. Trish, if you're here, girl, I miss you too. She just sent me a message, y'all. <laughs> Destiny, I really like your blonde wig. I like it. Like, I did not know it was a wig, though. You got off at four up, working that day shift, Faith. Working that day shift. All right, I'm just watching this, you guys, so I can like show you what it looks like. Okay, so let me show this phone real quick, what it looks like, and then I'm gonna show you guys, okay? So that's lucrative lip gloss. So you could wear that by itself, you guys, or you could put it over a lipstick or over like line your whole lip and put it over that. And look how stinky pretty that is, okay? That is in the color, color lavish, okay? That's lavish, okay? So there's the first one. That's just a lucrative lip gloss. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Ashley. You guys, once you are here, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Please, you guys, um, give me a share. Um, just the more shares we get, the more ladies that we get hop on, okay? And that is so awesome. Okay, so here's the second color I got in today. Let me tell you something. Unique. We have, I think, five of these new colors, okay? Unique named all of these, all of these colors, after unique presenters. Okay, um, Mel, not yeah, Melanie. She named um, like the, there's like the, the different colors. Whatever color reminded her of you know whichever presenter she picked is what she named them. And this one is uh, named Renee Rochelle. Okay, so this is the only one that has like the glitter in it. Let me show this. I'm sorry, I forget. I have two phones going, y'all. Okay. Um, Thank you, Michaela. You guys, once you have shared, please um, drop a 
drop a 100 emoji, you know, like the one, just drop any emoji, okay? Your favorite emoji, just to let me know that you guys have shared, okay? Thank you, Crystal. Okay, now like I was saying, y'all, they named all these after unique presenters, but let me tell you something. This right here is my color. This, if I could like pick a color to be like my theme color, this would be it. This would be it. Thank you, Ashley. Thanks so much. Hey, Kay. Um, but look, okay, so let's, and also, this is not a lip gloss. This is a lip plumper. This is a haughty lip plumper. Now, I also have another one coming, y'all, in the color Keisha, okay? Thanks, Ash. Yes, girl, this is my favorite one, Faith. Okay, so let's swatch this one, and I'm going to show y'all just why I love it so much, okay? And it's a lip plumper. Remember, it's a lip plumper. I'm kind of shaky. I don't know why. Sometimes I'm like that. Okay, let me show this phone. Yeah, here we go. Now just watch. Look at that. This is why it's my favorite, okay? Because I love pink. I love shimmer and sparkle, but look at it. And it plumps your lips, okay? So this is my favorite one. That is my favorite one, okay? So which color, y'all, should we use today? Which color should we use today? Or I could try to use both of them. Um, I'm not sure how it would work. Because one's a lip plump. I mean, I don't know. We could try it. But, like I said, which one do y'all think? I mean, like, this right here is my absolute favorite. That's like, says me. That has my name all over it. Okay? Let me wipe it off, though. And then let's do my face, y'all. Tell me what color y'all think we should use. And then let's do my face. Plumper. Yes. Okay. Let me... I pulled y'all out just a little bit, okay? So, the second one. Everybody's saying the second one, okay. I'm thinking the second one, too, because it's my favorite. Michaela, I have two of the plumpers. I have this one, and I have Keisha on the way. I haven't got it yet, but it'll be here maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure. Yes, I think I'm going to use the plumper. Okay, so let's go ahead and do my face, y'all. I have already put my Glorious Primer on. And I'm going to use my liquid touch, okay? So, here we go. This is where things get pretty kill, cool, okay? Because we like, I like, I love, like, the transformation. Like, you guys, just get a good look at my face. I mean, it's here. You guys know what it looks like. But just, when you're not thinking about it, um, it's hard to, like, not notice it. But when I, when I start really doing my face with the stuff, um, Really, like, pay attention at the transformation. Not, like, a before and after, but, like, during the transformation. Really pay attention. I'm telling you. Um, and when I get on here and talk to you guys, I don't ever pay attention because I'm here talking to you, you guys, and I'm paying attention to y'all. Um, but when I'm, like, at home doing my makeup by myself or something, I do do that. I watch it. I watch the transformation because... I can take my time. I mean, I take my time all the time, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? Okay, so here we go. It's my liquid touch, you guys. I'm going to give it a really good shake. And first of all, this is like the dropper it looks like. You're going to squirt it all back in there. Make sure there's nothing in that dropper, okay? Okay, we will use the Haughty Lip Plumper, okay, and Renee Rochelle. And then we're going to get Keisha in. Y'all, the Keisha one. Let me tell you all about Keisha. Hey, Jordan. Uh it's, it's a red-orange, and when I think of red-orange, uh-uh. I do not do red-orange, okay? It just not does not look good on me. I don't personally think so, and I just personally don't like it. But when I seen the color on all the other girls, it ain't. It is a red-orange, but it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different. It's super pretty. So, of course, I got it, okay? I wasn't going to. Um, and the other colors, they're pretty, but these two are, like, ones that I could see myself wearing more often. Versus the other ones, if I was to get those, I probably wouldn't wear them very often. You know what I mean? So, that's why I got these two. Okay. So, you guys, these are mineral-based. It is, when you open it, you're going to think, that's so watery. Okay? I have so many people who say that, and it's like, oh, girl. It's watery, but it's supposed to be that way. Okay? Uh, I'm, like, constantly looking for, like, a palette to use. And I'm just going to use this. This is what I always use, y'all, to, like, put my stuff on, okay? This is just an old uh, setting powder. I forget this is, like, all of my face right here. Okay. So, you guys, you want to make sure. Stinking rich, you guys, yes. 
I love Stinkin' Rich. That is a nice red opulence lipstick. But let me tell you something. I personally am not like a uh, like a tube lip lipstick fan. This is I can do it, but I'm it's not what I personally like. Okay, so that's why I've only got one of these. Okay. Because if I'm not going to use them, why am I going to order them, okay? So, my favorite, you guys, are the uh, Splash Lipsticks. I like the Plumpers. I like the Gloss. And I like the Stains, okay? Um, but, yeah, the, the, the lipstick, I'm just not, that's just not who I am. You know what I mean? But I got one because that color was super pretty. But if you like tube sticks, lipsticks, they're awesome, okay? And they're like... I, if the only way to explain it is to try it yourself and the way those lipsticks apply is like butter and if like I feel like other lipsticks you kind of got to like pull and tug at it those like I said apply like butter okay so here we go anyway that was just a little uh 101 on the, like our lip, lipsticks okay and I just personally am not a tube lipstick fan I like liquid lipstick better okay all right so here we go you guys this is my color this is in chiffon okay I tried to tan today, um, but it was not happening. It's just too rainy, okay? So, you can apply the liquid foundation, you guys, a couple of different ways. Um, how I do it is I will put a few drops right here on my little thing, okay? And I'm thinking, y'all, I'm going to use this brush today. Now, this right here is the powder concealer brush, okay? And let me just tell you something. I've never felt a brush like this on my face, okay? So, I'm super excited to use this right here. And when you want to say brushes don't make a big difference, I was, I thought they didn't, okay? But they do. I promise you, brushes make a huge difference. Y'all, I like, I don't like this thing right here. I'm like, look, I'm talking to you, but I'm like, no. Like, this ain't going to look good. Anyway, um... Okay, so I'm going to put a few drops here. And I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five. Five drops of liquid is what I put right here, okay? I don't know if I want to use this brush because I kind of want to use this for my powder. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to apply it with this big old fluffy brush, okay? Now, like I said, there's a couple of ways you can apply the liquid foundation. And I have just noticed with me, um, it applies the best to my face, my, my skin, with a big fluffy brush, okay? Now, you can use a liquid foundation brush. You can use um, one of these. And speaking of, I was supposed to wash this, but I didn't. Oh, well. We won't worry about that today. We'll wash it tonight. <laughs> hey, Kirsten. You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Um, go ahead and give me a share and let me know that you share. Just so we can get some more ladies on, okay? All right, so let me wash this brush off really quick, okay? So here we go, liquid foundation, you guys. Last time I did this, I put way too much on it first, okay? Let's try not to do that this time, okay? And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, uh, here we go, let's just do it. Okay? Now, the liquid foundation, you guys, now here's that, here's that, here's that spot, you guys, where I said to really watch, okay? I want you to really watch the um the transformation okay because if you're not watching it'll get away from you and it's just you don't really uh i don't know how to explain it y'all how do you explain what i'm trying to say okay so i'm just circular motions with this big old brush okay now i'm probably not going to go too far up under my eye because I'm going to put concealer there to brighten and highlight, okay? Now, the big thing, you guys, let me swipe this away real quick so I can see. When my, I'm going to swipe my comments away. I will swipe them right back. I just cannot see my face, you guys, um, when it's there, okay? So, I'm going to do one side and so we can just really see the difference, okay? And I'm trying not to get it too much in... Now, the liquid foundation, I think I meant to say this earlier, but I forgot and I got sidetracked, is a medium coverage, you guys. 
Um, you want to build it up. You do not want to just slap it on your face like I was saying earlier. You don't want to slap it on your face because if you do, you're going to make a big old mess, y'all. Big old mess. Okay, so you see this side versus this side. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit more. Um, and it also, you guys, it's a liquid and it dries to a powder, okay? That is also really good information to know. The liquid foundation dries to a powder finish, okay? Now, also, you guys, I have um, chiffon. What is it called? I have chiffon concealer on the way, y'all. I think it'll probably be here Friday. And then, once I get my chiffon concealer in... We will do full, full coverage with that, okay? Because if I added um, the chiffon concealer with this, it would be full, full coverage, okay? So just the or just the liquid by itself, you guys, is um, medium coverage. Hey, Lauren. Okay. See, I already did my forehead over here, but that's okay. Just kind of, I'm just kind of going after it now. Do y'all have any questions about anything? Anything at all? You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Um, let me know that you're here, okay? And bring it down your neck. Always bring it down your neck, okay? Okay, can you see it? The zephyr runs. Fluff this out a little bit. What is everyone up to tonight, you guys? What is everyone up to? Those comments are like jacking me up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, y'all. I got some new setting powder in. I don't remember if I told y'all that already. I got new setting powder in. And I'm so excited. Y'all, y'all know that I like live by, um, I don't know. How do you want to like say it? Setting powder is life. If you don't think it is, and you think it's one of those things that you don't need, you are so wrong. You are so wrong. Okay. And I'm not saying that in a mean way, but I'm just saying it's going to change your makeup. Okay. It's going to change your makeup. Now, like I said, I'm not taking... Let me just pull y'all in. Y'all are so far away. There we go. All right, that looks better. That looks better. Now y'all can see. If y'all ever, if y'all ever need me to pull myself in, let me know. Yell at me. Whatever y'all need to do to get my attention. Okay, so here we go. Dab, dab, just building that color up, okay? And then we're going to do some scarlet concealer, you guys, to highlight, okay? In just a second. Okay, now I am gonna add some pressed powder, okay? That's what I'm gonna use to set this today. I'm gonna add pressed powder. Now, pressed powder also um, has a really good coverage. Does the powder foundation. The foundation that I'm using right now, the um, liquid that dries to the powder or just the powder? And I have dry skin, so let me tell you, girl, if, if I'm using it, you can use it, okay? Because I have super bad dry skin. Super bad. All right, so there we go. I feel like my bright, or my bright, my bright's up too light. That's what, that's what I almost said is my bright is up too light. <laughs> my light is up too bright. Okay. I think this is a pretty good coverage. I'm happy with this. Okay. So there's that. Like I said, once I get my um, concealer in, we will make this a full, full coverage with the concealer, okay? Because like I said, the concealer, it will cover tattoos, you guys. Now, if you, I'm still gonna show you how it works because I'm gonna use my um, Scarlet to highlight, okay? 
and I'll show you just how well that works. Okay, so here we go. We look pretty even. Hey, Hannah. Set that to the side. Okay, so let's do some scarlet concealer, y'all. Okay, here we go. I've had this for five months, y'all. Five months. And I use it very often, okay? All right, so here we go. Scarlet concealer, you guys. This a little goes a long way. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Um, and it covers tattoos, like I said. Um, guys, if you're wanting to have your uh, foundation to be full, full coverage, you're gonna wanna match your foundation with your concealer, okay? So like I said, once I get my chiffon in, we'll mix it and we'll be full coverage, okay? So this is just a medium coverage with um, just the liquid, okay? Now I could have built it up a little bit more if I wanted to, but this is good because I'm about to put some concealer on and as well as powder. The pressed powder, y'all, also will help you give a full uh, full coverage look, okay? But let's do some concealer. Let me get my uh, Behold out first. Oh, here we go, Behold, y'all. This is Behold setting powder, and I'm telling you, this is what's gonna make you look. This is what is going to give you the Photoshopped airbrushed look right here, okay? And we'll talk about that when we in just a second, okay? Hi, Shayna. What is up, girl? You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know that you're here. Let me know you're, where you're watching from, and please go ahead and share um, just so we can get some more ladies. Oh, that, I accidentally did that. That's too much, okay? That's too much, but that's okay. So here we go. This is my first time using the concealer, uh, powder concealer brush, okay? So this is the concealer side, and when I, like, honestly, when I see girls using it, I'm like, this don't look as fluffy as it does. What? Ruh. Ruh. What are you doing? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go in with it. Powder concealer brush, shut the door. What are you doing? Stop. I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna tap it in there, okay, y'all? And then I'm just gonna start. Oh yeah, mama like that. Mama liked that a lot. Sorry, y'all. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm just, uh, using this brush for the first time and I'm really liking it. Okay. Look at that. That applied so much better than y'all look. Stop it. Stop it. I use so much concealer. It's so good. I usually use this to apply it, and this is a piece of junk, okay? <laughs> it's a piece of junk. So, let me try to get a little bit more, okay? So, here we go. We're going to brighten under our eyes, okay? And let me tell you something. Y'all, I like this brush. I'm like, I should have ordered this bad boy, like, months ago. Y'all, if you are used to watching my lives, you might know that um, I sometimes have a problem with the uh, under my eyes because I do have like really bad fine lines under my eyes, y'all. And that's from like not taking care of my skin like I should have, but I'm taking care of it now and um, we're in a better place, but I was having really hard time with the um, fine lines under my eyes. And I'm noticing with this brush, just changing out how I applied it, just with this little brush, it has made it so much better. Like it just, it's like it like just, um, I still have to blend it out of course, but it's like it spreads it out, but it spreads it out to where it's not, in your wrinkle. I don't even know how to explain it, but this is proof because usually I'm like, oh, those lines are bad, y'all. Those lines are bad. But here we go. We're just brightening the face right now, okay? This is the concealer, and this is in the color Scarlet. Now, if you want to, if you really like the brightness, y'all, Scarlet is the color to go to, okay? I'm gonna say Scarlet is like the most um, used highlighting color 
And look, it gets between my brows so easy. Look at that. This has changed my life, though. So. Okay, so I'm just filling in, you guys, where I did not put any um, foundation, and I'm just brightening, okay? And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just amazed, I guess, is all. So I'm brightening this whole mental section, okay? So this is all I need. This is all I need. Look how much I just wasted. That is a little depressing. I'm not going to lie to you. But I did that on accident. That, that's very depressing, actually. Because not that long ago, I was, like, freaking out about running out. And now it's like I got a new tube of it. And, then like, I'm not really worried about running out of it. But I still don't want to waste it, you know? Like, I hate wasting, y'all. Wasting just, like, freaks me out. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Does wasting freak y'all out? And so, it's just one of those things where I just don't have to, I just can't think about it. Just can't think about it. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to go in my, um, the beauty blender, y'all, and just press it into my skin the rest of the way, okay? Really just press it on in. Now, I did not, I forgot to wash this, y'all. But, it's okay. But, you just see how bright I probably should have done my concealer first, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, so just pressing it in, you guys. Now, when you get up here next to your eyes, this is where I said, like, my wrinkles are so bad under my eyes because I've never been careful with it. And so that skin is super fragile. So whenever you're pressing that in, just be careful, you guys, okay? Because you don't want to get that ugly... If you don't have it already, you don't want to get it. What? Y'all, sometimes I get weird messages and I'm like, what in the world? Like, I don't know what the heck they're talking about. But that was my aunt, so I don't, I don't know. Okay, so just pressing this in. Now, also, I think some people think like pressing it into your skin like that. Well, to me, that sounds disgusting. Like, Pressing it into your pores, like, no, thank you, but I would rather my pores not be clogged with makeup. But here's the thing about this makeup, okay? It is mineral-based, but not just that, you guys. We're going to wash our face, okay? So, it doesn't matter whatever your makeup you're using. Go ahead and press it in, okay? Because we're going to wash our face, y'all. We're going to wash this face. And it's okay to get makeup, Okay? Hold on, just a second. I feel like I did too much concealer, so I kind of need a little bit more li liquid to like even me out up here. But I probably could have done some powder up there and have been okay, but it's okay. I'm just kind of toning that lightness down, okay? Hey, yes, Steffi. I saw you send me a message, but I'm not really under, I don't really, I didn't really get to see what it said. Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm going to take my, here we go, setting powder, y'all. And let me tell you something. This is my favorite stuff ever, okay? Now, I am not what you would call baking. Look how easy that applied, okay? And this brush, oh, Lord. Okay, so there's that one. I'm not baking, you guys. And I'm not baking because, like I said, I have those fine lines. And if I was to bake, it would look terrible. Okay, it would look terrible and you would see all that, okay? I mean, maybe not, but I just don't, I don't bake. Okay, so I'm just using the setting powder right now, you guys, to set my under eyes. So I don't have to worry about that, um, the, uh, oh my gosh, what do you call it, you guys? The, uh. Concealer, I don't have to worry about it creasing, okay? And I'm also gonna, wherever I put that concealer, I'm gonna put the setting powder, okay? Because I was meant to brighten there, so I don't wanna put a powder on top of it, like a colored powder, because it's gonna darken it, so I'm, that's why I'm putting that setting powder there, okay? To set it, make sure it's set, because it's very important, especially um, in the summer, okay? Because it's sweaty, we're sweating, and it's hot, but also, you guys, 
It's gonna stop. It's gonna make sure, well, it's gonna help so you're, you don't get those fine lines under there, okay? Y'all see that? I'm telling you, you guys, if you love the makeup you're using, um, but if your brush, maybe like you don't have a good brush, get this brush. This brush is awesome, okay? This brush is awesome, okay? Promise. Okay, so let's get some pressed powder out so I can set the rest of my face, okay? And also, the pressed powder is going to help to make it a fuller coverage, okay? You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. And please give me a share. Hi, what you got in your bag, sister? Hi, Morgan. And please go ahead and give me a share. Just the more ladies we get on, the better, okay? All right, shut the door, sissy. So look at that, okay? So there's the concealer. And we're gonna do some powder. We're gonna do some powder. And we're gonna do Camlet, I think. I think that Crepe would probably be too dark. I think. Or too light, sorry, not too dark. Yeah, okay, so here's the color I'm gonna use. This is Camlet, y'all. This is a pressed powder foundation, okay? You can use this by itself. It is a, it's, it's a full coverage. Um, like if you do your foundation and then put this, this top it with this pressed powder, you're gonna have a full coverage, okay? That's how awesome this powder is. Hey, Hazen or Leslie, I'm not sure. One of you though. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do some pressed powder over, just over, um, not where I brightened, okay? You don't wanna do it there, just where you need to set the rest of your face, okay? Let me wipe this brush, or um, yeah, this brush off just a little bit. I'm gonna have to talk to my husband about this whole like second phone right here um, because it's not working. It's working, but I'm like, when I go to like edit the video or something, this ain't gonna work because um, I feel like it just, you can tell that it like, I don't know. I'm like starting to do YouTube, you guys. That's what this, that's what this second phone right here is for. I'm gonna start doing YouTube. Um, but it's, it's in the works. It's not like, I haven't started yet. I have the page and everything, but I haven't started posting to it or anything. Okay, so just putting that pressed powder. Bring it in a little bit through here. And not only that, the lighting on this phone right here is terrible. Like, you guys look awesome right here, but right here is awesome. Uh, Leslie, <laughs> well, sometimes I'm like, well, you know, maybe it was an accident. Accident. Or maybe he just wanted to say hi, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so press powder, y'all. I feel like my chin is really shining, y'all. I don't like that. Hi, Candy. Okay, so almost done with this pressed powder, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and do contour. Let's do contour. Okay. Make sure we're leaving it bright under our eyes though, okay? My chin is looking so weird. Like, so bright. He asked about Mason, Oh. Mason's doing good. He's like fortnighting it up. I mean, we don't, we can't, we don't have time to dirt bike anymore because of Hagen's job, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, you know, maybe we'll get back into it one day, but right now we just can't because of Hagen, well, first of all, Hagen has no time, but listen, y'all, listen here, okay? Here's my goal. Let me tell you my goal right now. If I make it far enough into this company, y'all, Hagen could retire and he could do my makeup business with me, okay? Now that's not me like blowing smoke up your ass or anything like that. That's just being real, that's being honest. Will it be hard? Hell yeah, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna take a lot of work. It might take a two years, it might take three years, but you know what? 
we're still young and I'm glad I started y'all. Cause this is really what I love to do. You got your, uh, what's her name? Yeah, Doc McStuffins. Can you come and say hi? No, guys, I'm just kind of um, fixing my brows just because when I do my powder, you know, I go over them and it messes them up. Now, they're not faded right now. I will fade them in just a minute. Not yet, though. Not yet. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and I don't remember if I told y'all, but all my contour, well, y'all do know this. Yeah, you got Susie Sheep. All my contour, you guys. I have Georgette in the pressed powder coming for my contour. I don't have it in yet. It'll probably be here Friday. But in the meantime, what I'm doing my contour with y'all is just an eyeshadow, okay? It is just this brown eyeshadow right there, that third one, okay? And I'm just going to dip in there. I'm gonna dip it in there, but I'm going to make sure that I like tap it off. See that? That would have been on my face, okay? So I don't want that on my face. And then you're just gonna take it, and you naturally have like that, okay? Now, we will blend it out, I promise. We'll blend it out, but not yet. If you think I'm looking crazy, you're probably right, but we're gonna look crazy, you guys. Um, before we look good, before it all like comes together. Actually, I should have done my bronzer next, but I forgot. That's okay. We'll do bronzer in just a second. There we go. Tap that off again. I'm going to do my other side. Okay. Y'all notice like I've always got like lipstick or something on my hands. It's just part of it. You're horrible at doing makeup. <laughs> Leslie. That is the worst thing you could have just said to me. Because I don't even want to tell you. I can't even tell you how many girls have done this. I mean, you wear makeup a little bit, right, Leslie? Yeah, you do. I know you do. Um, so just like knowing just a little bit that you know, that is enough. Because you're going to learn and you will blossom. And let me tell you something. Just me being in uni, I started in January and it's July. Well, how many months? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Six months? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Six months? Don't seem like that long. But um, if you go back and just like look at my pictures, look at my videos, look at everything, you will see that even I, in that short amount of time, someone that has went from doing her makeup her whole life, my whole life, I've done my makeup my whole life, um, do was doing my makeup in my mama's womb. Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, that's just how much I love makeup. But like I'm saying, um, I have learned so much. I've gotten so much better. I can do a wing pretty good now, y'all. And my eyeshadow, y'all. I struggled with my eyeshadow and I struggled with my eyeliner. Okay. My eyeliner's getting better. And my eyeshadow has improved so much. Okay. Like 100% has improved. Okay. If I had to grade myself on the eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm just like stifling it, stippling. I don't know what the how do you say that? Look that. Ooh, girl, you're going too high. I'm going too high, but that's okay. And I'm gonna bring it down just a little. Okay. Now we'll blend it. We're gonna blend it. We haven't done that yet. I feel like I cannot see you. Crap. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I gotta blend it. We're, I gotta blend it. We're looking crazy, we're looking weird, but it's not blended, okay? I forgot to put my bronzer on, so let's go ahead and do some bronzer. Hey, Alyssa, what's up, girl? Bronzer, here we go. So here's my beachfront bronzer. This is in the color Sunset, okay? Now, this is what I'm gonna say about the bronzer. If you have a red undertone like myself, okay, if you are one of those redheaded people or you just naturally have a redhead or a red undertone, this, this color sunset will be good for you because I think it gives, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's a different color. Now, if you are one of those people who have like the like brown, brown tan, 
I don't recommend the lightest one, okay? You're gonna wanna get like the darkest one, okay? And even if you're light skin, you can still get the darkest one. You're not, it doesn't necessarily go off of how dark you are. It's your skin tone, okay? And you see, I'm putting bronzer on right now and it's not necessarily, it's more my skin tone. You see what I'm saying? And so if you have the red undertone, I, like I said, do not recommend sunset because it's gonna end up looking more orangey on you than anything. But if you have that red undertone, the orangey, I mean, it kind of, it kind of like is okay for us that have that red undertone, okay? And I feel like when I, I'm careful when I say orange because you guys, I'm careful when I say orange because I, how do I say this? <laughs> Well, I'm not even going to say that. When people think of orange makeup, their face is looking orange, they don't think of anything good, right? So, I try to be careful when I say that. But even though this is orange, I'm still using it and it's still the color that I use because I do have that red undertone, okay? That is a big thing. The same thing with eyebrows. Just because you have blonde hair does not mean, you guys, that you need to get the lightest uh um, eyebrows, okay? Because it just depends. It depends on your skin tone. It depends on how dark you like your eyebrows. It depends on all of that, okay? All right, so I'm just bronzing right through here. I'm not putting it over my contour, okay? I use a totally different contour than bronzer right there. Do not put my bronzer there. Now, I am going to put it right under here, okay? And as well as right under here. If y'all have any questions about my eyeshadow, let me know, okay? Let me know about that. Okay, so we have that. Let's do some blending. Let's blend real quick. So we're going to take my setting powder. Behold setting powder. This is my favorite, favorite stuff ever. Y'all know that, okay? Let me wipe this brush off. And this is my new favorite brush. New favorite brush, okay? Powder concealer brush. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna tap in there and just kind of like circle around like that black thing, okay? And then I'm just gonna like really just kind of blend this out. Stiple it up my... Hold on. I'm used to my, um, honestly, I'm used to my other blending brush, not this for blending, so I'm not gonna blend with that. So let me wipe this brush off. Uh, okay, yeah. This is strictly going to be for like under my eyes and like powder. I do not like that to, um, what do you call it? I do not like that to blend with. Okay. So here we go. This is my other brush. This one's more firmer and I think it just you, does better to blend with. Okay. So there we go. Just like that. That feels better. That feels better in my hand. Okay. So this is how I do it. Just stipe it up. When I was using that other brush to blend right there, I felt like a lost puppy. Like I did not know what I was doing, okay? So um, if you're used to one thing, doing one thing and that works for you, keep doing it, okay? That, this did not work for me for blending, but it does work awesome for your powder, okay? Um, your setting powder under your eyes and just like your pressed powder, okay? Okay, let's do this side. Y'all, I think I'm like gotten a lot dark a lot darker and um, I'm used to that contour being dark enough, but I'm thinking since I'm darker now that I don't think that's dark enough anymore. That's looking dirty. Why does that look dirty? Maybe you don't. Okay, let me add just a little bit more. I need to turn my light up. I think that's what is going on. Like I can't see. Yep, there we go. If there's ever a time where I'm like, okay, it's not looking right, something's not right, tell me to turn my light up because that's what was wrong. Hi, Kim. You guys, once you hop on, please say hi. Please go ahead and give me a share just so I can get some more ladies on. Okay? Pull this down a little bit. I'll like jack this side. Whatever. It's okay, though. What are you doing, sissy? You got your bag? Okay, so blending that just a little bit more, that contour out, okay? Stifling it up. I'm starting to get so hot, you guys. Hold on. 
This uh, ring light is so hot. Let me turn my fan on. See if I can figure it out. Okay, that's better. Okay. Oh, wrong camera. Y'all are up there, not down here. Okay. I was putting this a little bit more on my nose. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit more bronzer on my nose because it's looking so white. Okay. Hi, Caitlin. How are y'all? My voice, y'all. My voice, y'all. I think I need to get my light on my mirror working again because it gives me light over here on the side that I can't see. I have a lot of light over here on this side, but I have like none over here. So it's really hard for me to see. What are you doing, sissy? You want to come say hi, sister? Sissy, you want to come say hi? Okay, so then I got, you guys, I'm going to blend the rest of my face and set it as well. But really, I'm blending that um, bronzer out, okay? And when I blend, I don't really do like this whole thing. I stifle it still, okay? Okay. Y'all see that? I'm telling you, the setting powder is bomb. It, I'm telling you guys, I'm just telling you, setting powder, setting powder. It's squishy. It's squishy. <gasps> Ooh, it's Peppa. She squeaked. Peppa squeaked. What's Nanny doing, huh? I don't know. You don't know what Nanny's doing? I won't stay Nana all the time. Huh? I won't stay Nana all the time. You want to stay with Nana all the time? Mm hmm You can't stay with Nana all the time. She's got to go home. Can you shut mommy's door? Okay, y'all, this is looking good. Okay, so we're gonna use Serene Blush, y'all. She said yes. Oh my gosh, what? No, we're not either. We're not using Serene because I'm gonna use Iridescent Highlighter. Yeah, I'm gonna use Iridescent Highlighter. And I the, the, the Serene Blush has like gold shimmer in it and it's gorgeous. Let me just show you what it looks like in case you wanna see it because it's gorgeous, okay? So it's pink, but it's got like that, that, see that? That is so gorgeous. That's serene. Okay. I bet this, you guys. <gasps> I've got an awesome idea. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I'm not going to tell you what the, the idea is, but it's going to be a good one. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to use, you guys, scandalous blush. Okay. It's broke. It's broke to hell. <laughs> but that's okay. It's still usable. Okay. It's still usable. It's super pigmented, and I'm just going to show you how pigmented it is. Um, Y'all, I probably will never have to buy this color again, okay? Because that, I got to, like, put it on there. You see it? You can see it on there. And then I'm going to take it and kind of dust it on my hand a little bit because I don't want it to be super dark, okay? So, here we go. It's easier to put on than take away, okay? So, here we go. See that? Do you see how bright that is, y'all? So I'm just gonna do it lightly. Okay? See that? I don't even have a highlighter on yet, but my face is really shiny. Okay. Let me put a little bit more on there. Let's do too much. See that? Way too much, y'all. So here we go. I'm gonna tap it off. Blow. And let's do this side. I need to wait a second. You need to wait a second? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? What are you? It works. Okay, see? Shut the door. Now, I have to be super careful with my blush because if I pull my, I almost pulled this one too far down. Some people can do that and it looks okay, but I've noticed if I pull mine too far down, it just don't look right, okay? Just don't look right, but this looks okay. Now, I am, I think I'm gonna use this one to blend with right through here, because I'm not necessarily, I'm blending just a little bit, but I more want that blush to like interlock. I don't know if that's really the word to use, but I want it to really like um, airbrush together, okay? And the setting powder is what is really gonna make that airbrush together with the contour. Now, I, I feel like that pink 
um, washes out the contour a little bit. So I will come in and just add a little bit of dark, okay? Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Just to darken it back up, okay? Now, if you don't like yours this dark, it's totally fine. You do not have to do it this dark. This is just what I like, okay? Now, I'm gonna take that powder concealer brush. I am gonna dip it in the setting powder, okay? I'm gonna try it on right there. If I don't like it, I'll switch to my other brush. It just is a personal preference, okay? But I'm gonna try it. I'm just so used to other brush when I con or when I like blend right through here. It's just really weird um, to use like a different one because this brush is really like easy going to where my other one is like real like like it's just firm, you know? I don't know, it's weird. Okay, but it did okay. So let's do the other side with this. Okay, here we go. And just staple it up, okay? It's gonna give you that airbrush look. It's gonna make it all come together. Y'all, you'll see me like I do this whole hand thing. Like I, like I don't know. It's just part of part of what I do. For some reason, I have no idea why I do that. But I always have like my hand like awkwardly doing something. I don't know why. Hi Sarah, what's up, girl? Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of that setting powder, just a little bit, not much. And here we go. If you are having a hard time with your fade right there on your brows, y'all, this is what you do. Okay. Let's say they're all the same color, just like mine is right here. But you want the fade. You want that fade, everybody wants that fade, right? Take your blending brush or just, you know, your brush, take some setting powder on it. You wanna make sure you got a little bit of setting powder on it. And I would just do the little dab, you know? Little dab dab. Okay, and it'll give you, I need to come out with this one a little bit more. And that will help give you that airbrush look, okay? Because it's just taking a little bit of that powder away. Can y'all see me? Yeah, y'all can see me. Okay, hold on. They're not even, so I'm trying to get them even. Even Stevens. Even Stevens. This side, I'm out. Well, I ain't gonna use that side. So, just dippy, dippy, dippy. Tap off. Okay, and see, there you go. A little bit of a fade, just like that, okay? So there's that. I think I'm done with setting powder now. I think I'm done with setting powder. Definitely done with you, I gotta put you up. Um, okay, what else, what else, what else, what else? We need to do our highlight. I'm so excited to do lips, y'all. So excited to do lips, because I'm so ready to use that plumper. It ain't even funny, it ain't. Okay, who all is loving this coverage? And this color, I don't think my face could match my skin tone any more than it already does. I mean, look how, that's how white I used to be. <laughs> look how, that's how white I used to be. The under eyes, that's how white I used to be. Holy crap. Okay, so we're gonna just take this. This is um, cream to powder, okay? Cream to powder. Luminizer, and that's what it looks like, you guys. That's what it looks like on my fingers. Now, since it is a cream to powder, I'm gonna like rub it between my fingers because honestly, when I got it, I wasn't thinking, okay? And I am personally not a cream to powder person with anything. I'm just not, I don't know why, okay? Oh, I'm going too far down with it. And um, I mean, the color is awesome. I love the color, but I don't, do cream highlights, okay? Cream highlights are just not usually my friend, okay? Just being honest. But everybody has their preferences and that is okay. That is totally okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that finger on my finger and rub it together. And I think just rubbing your fingers together just a little bit just kinda um, makes it dry a little bit so it's not so creamy and you can apply it just a little bit easier, okay? And that is my highlight. Okay, that is iridescent highlight. Okay. And I'm gonna put some, 
I can't see the side of my face. Okay, I'm gonna put some right through here though. Too much. And just kind of press it and like just, you see what I'm saying? Just spread it out. Blend it out with your finger, okay? And I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Now, if you do not put yours here, that's fine. You can put it wherever you're comfortable um, putting it, okay? This side of my face looks so weird right there. Whatever. But like in a mirror, it doesn't look like that. So I'm like, it has to be the light. I don't know. Okay, so iridescent cream to powder highlight. Yeah, highlight, okay? What's next, y'all? Let's do the lips. Let's do the lips. Okay, and so here's what I'm thinking on the lips, y'all. Since we're gonna use the Renee Rochelle, and it is like that really like nice pink shimmer. Um, when I got this out, when I got my, um, what do you call this? My, um, oh my God, what do you call this? My blush, y'all, this blush right here. I was gonna use it, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna use it, and I'll tell you why. I'm gonna put this on my lip. I'm gonna put this on my lip, and then um, I'm gonna put that uh, that uh, lip plumper over it, okay? And I think it'll really give it a nice, like, really pretty color, okay? I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna take some of my um, eye or my face primer and just put it on my lips, okay? And I'm doing that so the um, blush will stick to my lip, okay? So if you ever want to do something like this, you can use eyeshadows on your lips as well, but you want to put something down to make it stick. Whether it's a primer or like, I also used to use like a chapstick. That'll help as well, okay? But I'm just putting the primer on my lip. I had to get that dead skin off, okay? Okay, so there we go. Primer on the lip. And then I'm gonna take that blush, y'all, and I'm just gonna set it on my lips, okay? Because all of our products are very versatile. Versatile, I think that's how you say it. Versatile, versatile. How do you say it? Versatile, versatile. Um, so you can use like a blush on your eyeshadow or on your lips or whatever, you guys. I even use my lipsticks, my liquid lipsticks on my eyes, okay? So here we go, let's just try it. Now I do overline my lip but this I ain't really gonna be able to overline it. See, it just gives it like a soft shimmer, but I think you guys, it's gonna be super pretty under that Renee Rochelle, okay? And I actually will probably put this color on my Cupid's bow. I think that'll look super pretty. Okay, so that's the blush. That's what the blush looks like on your face. Hi, Kaylee. So that's a blush, y'all. That's what the blush would look like on your face if it was on my face. What's on my lips. Okay, and that's serene blusher. This is serene blusher on my lips. Okay, y'all see that? Okay, Serene Blusher. If y'all like that, give me some hearts. Please, please, please. Okay, let's go with that lip plumper. Where'd you go, girl? Where did you? I never tighten the lid back on this, and one day I'm gonna knock it over and I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm legit gonna cry. Cause I don't wanna knock it over. Okay, so here we go. Who loves that? Y'all, I'm like liking that by itself. I'm liking that by itself, but here we go. Let's put this Brene Rochelle on it, okay? Mm, let's do it. Hi, Rhiannon. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like. This is Brene Rochelle Lip Plumper, okay? Brene Rochelle Lip Plumper, you guys. I'm gonna swap the comments away just for a second so I can see, okay? Let me bring y'all in. Let me bring y'all in. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. No way. Back up. Hold on, you guys, my phone is being retarded. Oh, there we go. Okay, y'all wasn't about to be that close to my face. 
but it's not wanting me to do it. I want y'all in just a little bit. My phone's not. See, what are we doing here? No. Okay, y'all just stay right here, okay? So here we go. Let's just do it. Okay, I don't know if this excites anybody, but it's exciting me in not more ways than one, okay? And let me tell you, <laughs> it is so pretty. That's the first way, okay? It's so pretty. That's got my name written all over it, okay? Second of all, it's giving my lip a little tingle, okay? It's nice. Oh man, oh man. Okay, let's do the top lip. Are y'all liking this? Okay, there we go, now it's working a little bit better. Y'all see that? Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Cause I've got to overline still, cause actually, let me take this little light, well, that might work. Okay, y'all, I'm just drawing me a little fake lip on, okay? That's all I'm doing, drawing a little fake lip. Uh, see? Making it a little bit higher. Oops, come back, come back. What are you doing? I should have done this before I put anything on. Okay, that looks better. So, uh, I got a little crazy with it down there, but that's okay. Y'all, that is so, like, that's plumping, y'all. I can feel it. I can feel it working. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Do y'all like that color? y'all like that color? Let me know if y'all like that. That's my favorite. Okay. I got a little bit on my tongue. <laughs> okay. What else, you guys? We need to finish. Let's finish. Let's finish up. We're almost done. I'm loving this. I'm loving that. I might. I probably don't want to add any more. I need to get, I'm going to add a little bit more color right here in my corners just to brighten them, okay? And I'm going to spray my brush first. So this right here is just putting my like final touches on, okay? I'm done with everything pretty much, just my final touches, okay? So just, I'm taking that and I'm taking the color Slick right here. It's like that pinkish purple metallic -y, okay? And that's called Slick. And I'm just dipping it in there. I, I put, I wet my brush, okay? And I'm just gonna like, literally like just set it right there. Just set it there and press it in. Kind of just like I do with the foundation, okay? Okay. Let's do the other side. And that's just really gonna give us um, brightness right there. Usually I will do like a Either I'll do optimistic right in my corners or I'll do um, exhilarated. But I was like, uh, I always do those colors. So I'm like, today I'm gonna do like that pink color there. And I like it, I really like it. Yeah, that's slick, okay? And then, I 
think I'm good with that. And then, oh. I'm just gonna do this to kind of like get the, any excess off of it. Okay. Oopsie. Okay. Almost done, you guys. We're almost done. Y'all, my lips are looking really big right now. Not only are they um, looking really big, but they're feeling really big. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. What's next, y'all? I need to put a little bit of something right there. I think I'm actually going to put optimistic right there. Optimistic is this little right there. See how bright that is? Right there. And I am just going to kind of set it right there. Okay. There's that. Then I need, I need my Epic one more time. I think I'm going to put some fibers on. I'm going to do some fibers. Okay, so I already have some Epic on already, but like I said, I'm going to do my fibers because you guys, I was, uh, I was um, using falsies for a while and I feel like they kind of like pushed my lashes down again. If y'all understand what that means, I'm glad. <laughs> if you don't understand, well, how, what I feel like happens, you guys, is uh, whenever I wear falsies a, a lot, I feel like it pushes down my lashes. And then like when I go to wear like regular mascara, they're like looking all jacked up. You know what I mean? Like they're looking weird and they need to be plumped up and full again. And it'll take like a few days for them to look right again. But I hate that. I hate that so bad. I hate it. Like don't make my lashes look dull, okay? Don't dull me. Okay, so I already have the one coat of Epic on I have the coats of Epic on my uh, top lashes already, okay? I did that at the beginning of the video. Now, I'm gonna add some fibers, okay? And I'm gonna roll them on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take my Epic, y'all. And here we go. I'm going to add it to the ends of them, of my lashes. And then add it. Okay, so you can see those a little bit better. And then I'm, I only did the outside corner over here. Now I'm gonna do the inside corner and I do it separately because if you don't, it's like it dries too fast, okay? To get like both of them in time. Okay. You see like the big difference in that one? See, my um, my eyeliner is pretty uh, thick today, so it's hard to see my lashes. It's so thick, it's hard to see my lashes, but you can see them a little bit better over here on this eye because I did add the uh, fibers, okay? <gasps> okay, that's okay, Lauren. Definitely watch the replay, girl. Hey, Jen, what's up? I miss you, girl. Oh. Y'all, my lips are feeling full. My lips are feeling full. <laughs> they are so plumpy. They are so plumpy. Okay, let's do the other eye. Thanks, Jen. Thanks. I got my new lip plumper in. This is Renee Rochelle. All right, so let's do this side. Okay, there we go. So you can see them now. You can see them over my eyeliner because my eyeliner is so thick. I had to do it. I had to do fibers with my eyeliner so thick. Now, if I wouldn't have done any um, eyeliner, you could have seen them a lot easier. Okay, so there we go. All right, now I'm gonna do the inside quarter, quarter, corner. There we go. Okay. 
and there we go. Okay, I have a little bit of fiber up there. I gotta get that off. Now, you guys, I I'm gonna let that dry a second. Yeah, I'm gonna let that dry a second and I'm letting it dry. Hi, Rebecca. I'm letting it dry because if I'm to just go ahead and like seal those fibers, they're gonna come right out because they're not dry. You wanna make sure that you let them dry. Okay, and if you don't let them dry, you're just gonna pull them right back out, okay? And trust me, that ain't fun. Because you're gonna get mad at yourself. And you'll have little baby lashes and it would just be like a waste of time, right? But look at that, that looks so much better. So I'm glad I did the fibers, y'all. Okay, I'm not gonna do that side yet. I feel like I need to line my lips with this, like all the way. Ooh. Let me sharpen this really quick. We're almost done, you guys. I'm kind of just like taking my time. I'm not really in a hurry right now, okay? I should have put this all over my lip, but I thought it would be too dark. I thought it'd be too dark, but I think it would have been perfect. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so I'm just trying to line my lip, y'all. Okay, that's better. You see how much better that looks since I lined like the whole lip? Yeah, it looks a lot better. But it's hard to get it on there because I've already got so much on my lip. Like I said, I should have lined them before I put anything on them. But it's okay. Don't do that. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more of that plumper because I um, jacked it up with that uh, pencil. There we go. All right, so just adding a little bit more of the plumper. Plus it'll, plus it'll make it look um, brighter. Kind of like doing an extra coat. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think I'm done, guys. I think I'm done with everything. Does anyone have any questions about anything, you guys? Anyone have questions at all about anything? If you guys want to be color matched, um, definitely send me a selfie. Um, just send me. I love just a minute. I'm almost done. Okay. Send me a selfie, you guys, in good lighting, um, no makeup, so I can get you color matched. Okay. If you want to know what liquid you would be. Okay. Um, if you want to know more about the lip plumpers or anything else that I've used today, let me know y'all. Okay. Let me know. Okay. I think we're done y'all. I think we're done. My hair looks ridiculous right now, but that's okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. You guys, this is like the finished look. Okay. Okay, um, like I said, you guys, if y'all have any questions about anything at all, send me a message, um, get a hold of me, okay? Don't let yourself go not um, like knowing the answers to questions that you have because you're scared to like ask me or anything. Don't be scared, okay? Send me the message and we'll talk, okay? We'll talk about whatever we need to talk about. Um, we'll do a like a mini little... Um, what do you call it? Like a little session, okay? 
Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you watched the replay, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you want to go ahead and please share, that would be awesome, awesome, awesome. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone that has watched today, um, that watched me all the time, you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys and I love you guys so much. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.